Hey everyone, welcome back. We all know that getting a good night's sleep is important, but did you know just how crucial it is for our overall health and well-being? Sleep isn't just about feeling rested. It's a fundamental process that allows our bodies and minds to repair and recharge. When we sleep, our bodies can focus on repairing tissues, building muscle, and strengthening our immune system. Meanwhile, our brains are busy consolidating memories, processing emotions, and clearing out toxins. In this video, we'll dive deep into the fascinating world of sleep, exploring common sleep issues and practical tips to help you fall asleep faster and sleep soundly throughout the night. We'll cover everything from sleep latency and ideal sleep positions to the impact of meals and exercise on sleep quality. Let's unlock the secrets to a restful night's sleep together. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to our channel, Life Health Ideas, for more tips on health through natural remedies and body exercises. Ever find yourself tossing and turning in bed, wondering when sleep will finally come? We've all been there. The time it takes to fall asleep is known as sleep latency. Ideally, it should take you about 15 to 20 minutes to drift off. If you're consistently falling asleep much faster under five minutes or much slower over 30 minutes, it could be a sign of an underlying sleep issue. Falling asleep too quickly might indicate sleep deprivation, while taking ages to doze off could suggest stress, anxiety, or even a sleep disorder. Don't worry, we'll discuss ways to address these issues later on. Remember, paying attention to your sleep latency can provide valuable insights into your overall sleep health. We all know the importance of a balanced diet for our overall health, but did you know that what you eat can also significantly impact your sleep? Eating heavy meals close to bedtime can make it harder to fall asleep and lead to restless nights. When you eat a large meal, your digestive system works over time, leading to increased body temperature and difficulty getting comfortable. Spicy foods can also trigger heartburn, further disrupting sleep. On the other hand, certain foods can actually promote better sleep. Try incorporating sleep-promoting snacks into your diet, such as a handful of almonds, a banana, or a small bowl of oatmeal with berries. These foods are rich in sleep-regulating hormones like melatonin and tryptophan. Remember, a balanced diet is key to a good night's sleep. Regular physical activity offers numerous health benefits, including improved sleep. Engaging in at least 30 minutes of moderate-intensity exercise most days of the week can help regulate your circadian rhythm, making it easier to fall asleep and stay asleep. However, timing is crucial. Exercising too close to bedtime can make it harder to fall asleep due to increased body temperature and adrenaline levels. Aim to finish your workouts at least two to three hours before bed to allow your body ample time to wind down. If you prefer evening workouts, opt for gentler activities like yoga or stretching, which can promote relaxation and improve sleep quality. Remember, finding the right balance between exercise and rest is key to optimizing both your physical and mental health. Section 5. Sleep Positions, which is best for you. We all have our preferred sleep positions, but did you know that the way you sleep can impact your sleep quality and overall health? Sleeping on your back is generally considered the best position for spinal alignment and can help reduce neck and back pain. However, it can worsen snoring and sleep apnea. Side sleeping, particularly on your left side, is beneficial for digestion and can reduce heartburn. It's also a good option for pregnant women as it improves blood circulation to the fetus. Sleeping on your stomach is generally not recommended as it can strain your neck and back. Experiment with different sleep positions to find what works best for you and consider using pillows for support and comfort. A section six, sleeping naked, comfort versus concerns. Sleeping naked is a personal choice with both potential benefits and drawbacks. It's a topic that often sparks debate among sleep enthusiasts and health experts alike. Advocates of sleeping in the buff often cite improved sleep quality due to increased comfort and better temperature regulation. They argue that without the constraints of clothing, the body can move more freely and naturally. Sleeping naked allows your body to breathe and stay cool, which can be especially beneficial during warmer months. This can lead to a more restful and uninterrupted sleep as the body maintains an optimal temperature. However, there are also concerns associated with sleeping naked. Some people worry about hygiene, as direct contact with bedding can lead to the accumulation of sweat and bacteria. It can increase feelings of vulnerability, 
and may not be suitable for light sleepers who are easily disturbed by changes in temperature or movement. Additionally, those who share their bed with pets or children might find it less practical. Ultimately, the decision of whether or not to sleep naked is a personal one. It's important to consider your own comfort levels and sleeping environment. Weigh the pros and cons and choose what feels most comfortable for you. Remember, what works for one person might not work for another. Yeah, you know, it's all about what makes you feel at ease. Everyone has their own preferences when it comes to sleep. Some people just sleep better without the extra layers while others need that sense of security. It's all about finding what helps you get the best night's sleep. Section 7. Pets in Bed Cuddly Companions or Sleep Disruptors This is a question many pet owners grapple with. Many of us consider our pets to be part of the family and enjoy their companionship, even in bed. The warmth and presence of a pet can make bedtime feel more cozy and secure. However, sharing your bed with furry friends can have both positive and negative impacts on your sleep. While their presence can be comforting, it can also lead to disturbances. On the one hand, pets can provide a sense of comfort and security, reducing feelings of stress and anxiety. Their unconditional love and loyalty can be a great source of emotional support. The rhythmic breathing and warmth of a pet can be incredibly soothing, lulling you into a deeper sleep. This can be especially beneficial for those who suffer from insomnia or anxiety. On the other hand, pets can also disrupt sleep due to their movements, noises, and need for attention during the night. A restless pet can lead to a restless night for you. Allergies are another concern, as pet dander can trigger allergic reactions in some people, leading to congestion and difficulty breathing. This can significantly impact the quality of your sleep. If you choose to share your bed with your pet, Establish clear boundaries and ensure they have a designated sleeping spot. This can help minimize disruptions and create a more harmonious sleeping environment for both you and your pet. Did you know that the temperature of your bedroom can significantly impact your sleep quality? Our bodies are naturally programmed to experience a slight dip in core temperature at night, signaling our brains that it's time to sleep. Most experts recommend a bedroom temperature between 60 and 67 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 to 19 degrees Celsius for optimal sleep. This slightly cool temperature helps facilitate the natural drop in body temperature, making it easier to fall asleep and stay asleep throughout the night. Experiment with different temperatures to find what works best for you and consider using fans, air conditioning, or extra blankets to create a comfortable sleep environment. If you're struggling with chronic sleep issues, sleep medications may seem like a tempting solution. The frustration of tossing and turning night after night can make anyone desperate for relief. While they can be effective for short-term relief, it's essential to understand both the benefits and risks associated with their use. These medications can provide a much-needed break from sleepless nights, but they are not without their downsides. Sleep medications, both over-the-counter and prescription, work by slowing down brain activity, inducing drowsiness, and promoting sleep. This can be particularly useful when your mind is racing and you can't seem to wind down. They can be helpful for managing temporary sleep disturbances caused by stress, jet lag, or shift work. For instance, if you're traveling across time zones or adjusting to a new work schedule, these medications can help you get the rest you need. However, Long-term use of sleep medications can lead to dependence, tolerance, and withdrawal symptoms. Over time, you may find that you need higher doses to achieve the same effect, which can be dangerous. They can also have side effects such as daytime drowsiness, dizziness, and impaired cognitive function. These side effects can impact your daily life, making it difficult to concentrate or perform tasks safely. It's crucial to consult with your doctor before starting any sleep medication to determine the underlying cause of your sleep issues and discuss the most appropriate treatment options. Your doctor can help you weigh the benefits and risks and explore alternative treatments if necessary. It's really important to weigh the pros and cons before turning to sleep medications. Always talk to your healthcare provider to make sure it's the right choice for you. They can provide guidance on safe usage and help you find the best solution for your specific situation. Establishing a consistent bedtime routine can work wonders in signaling your body that it's time to wind down and prepare for sleep. Start by setting a regular sleep schedule even on weekends to regulate your body's natural sleep-wake cycle. 
Create a relaxing bedtime routine that includes activities like taking a warm bath, reading a book, or listening to calming music. Avoid screen time at least an hour before bed, as the blue light emitted from electronic devices can interfere with melatonin production, making it harder to fall asleep. Make sure your bedroom is dark, quiet, and cool, and consider using blackout curtains, earplugs, or a white noise machine to minimize distractions. I found that sticking to a bedtime routine really helps me unwind. I love reading a book or listening to some calming music before I sleep. It makes a big difference. Getting a good night's sleep is crucial for our physical, mental, and emotional well-being. By understanding the science of sleep and adopting healthy sleep habits, we can unlock the power of restful nights and wake up feeling refreshed and energized. Remember to prioritize sleep establish a consistent sleep schedule, create a relaxing bedtime routine, and optimize your sleep environment. If you're experiencing chronic sleep issues, don't hesitate to consult with your doctor to rule out any underlying medical conditions and discuss appropriate treatment options. Sweet dreams, everyone. If you found this video helpful, please like it, share your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe to our channel, Life Health Ideas, for more tips on health through natural remedies and body exercises.